Fuel Systems Research and Development for the 2014 Pulse Motor Build-Off. This is my Pulse Motor called the Jumper. How it works is inside of this blue pipe there is a copper pipe and it's about the same length as this, these, uh, this area right here. And inside of that copper pipe is our uh, neodymium magnets um, with spacers so that the magnets are spaced out exactly the same spacing as these coils right here. Um, and the, this right here, this is a driver coil, and these five coils right here are pickup coils. And what happens is I send a pulse of electricity to this driver coil. There's a magnet inside of that copper pipe um, sitting right here in the field so that when I put a pulse of electricity through, it opposes, it, it sends an opposing magnetic field out and causes this magnet to be repelled. Shoots that magnet out bounces off of this spring, attached to the spring, and here's a neodymium magnet with the um, same polarity as the magnet here on the top so that they repel each other. And the spring is there to absorb um, the momentum of this this whole rod with the magnets in it. And instead of having it all be lost and go to a dead stop or be repelled from that um, the other magnet, I'm trying to conserve some of the energy so that it's conserved in the spring. That way it can shoot itself back in the other direction. Um, and when the uh, magnets pass through these coils, these pickup coils, it creates electricity. That electricity goes through these diodes on this one side and connects to this, um, this rod, the positive rod. And then on this other side, these uh, wires connect over to the negative side. From there it goes up into a bridge rectifier, from the bridge rectifier it goes up into a capacitor bank. Then from the capacitor bank the electricity flows down through on this negative side, it goes through all the way to the bottom of this um, pulsing coil, the driver coil, and on this positive side over here it goes from there into this trigger switch, BB gun trigger switch. And once the uh, rod has dropped down all the way and it hits against this bottom, this trigger switch is released and so it sends a pulse of electricity through this driver coil which causes the magnet to be repelled again and it just continues that same motion. Um, so all the energy that's gathered in these, drive, in these um, pickup coils is stored in the capacitor to be released again. I didn't have time to finish this, so this is what I have. I will do a, a completed video, but this is what I have for my entry. Wasn't able to finish due to work and stuff, so peace out. Take care. Have fun.